Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. This is my first time playing this on the PlayStation as far as actually going to do gameplay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start a new farm here. So we go to career. We'll go ahead and do just basically normal. And the maps we've got to select from. Let's see here. Okay, L1 or R1 to switch through the maps. And we've only got two maps. We've got the famous Sosnovka map. I'm wondering if that's going to be set up just like the uh, one on um, Farming Simulator 15. And then we've got the Goldcrest Valley, the one that everybody's been hyped up about. This is the latest map, latest addition to the Farming Simulator uh, community. And this is the release map for Farming Simulator 17. So we'll go ahead and play this one. And let's see, we gotta pick our character. Okay. So L1 or R1 to pick your gender. And then we gotta pick our shirt color. I'm gonna go with red. And then these right here, the T-Series Cow Edition and the MT700E Field Viper. These are DLCs that were given to anybody that pre-ordered the game. And I do believe that if you pre-order this game, uh, I know on Steam it's a, the pre-order downloads available all the way through the 1st of November. I'm not sure about ordering it now through all the other locations. You might want to check the actual uh, Farming Simulator Giant Software's uh, website. And you might be able to pre-order the PlayStation 4 edition and still get the downloads. I haven't checked into that, but I do know for a fact Steam, the PC version, is extended it all the way to the first. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start with both those in there. All right, the load time is definitely uh, slower on the PS4 versus the computer, but you know, that's expected. All right, welcome to Farming Simulator. Would you like to start a short guided tour of this? We'll show you the basics of the game. As it is the first time I'm playing this on the PS4, yes, I will do the tutorial. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got um, <clears throat> first look around the look around the area. Move right around the building to the big red harvester at the edge of the field. And touch the question mark icon next to it. In the lower left of the map. L1 plus R3 toggle map view. Okay. And then left thumbstick is to move. Right thumbstick is controller. Okay. So you got. You start with the mini map right there in the lower left hand corner. Then you can kind of zoom in here, and it is kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. So there's the map. And the flashing green in the center, uh, the circle, the, the sol more solid circle, that is me. And if you look, there's a little bit of an arrow there showing you which direction I'm pointing. And the green circle with the open center that one is our location we need to go so this is our farm right here and we start yeah we start with a pickup truck so square to enter oh look at this start with a lizard pickup truck rodeo okay I need to mess around with the controls here. Oh, money units. Let's switch that to dollars. Miles. Interactive zone markers. Oops. Okay. Okay, so your thumbsticks are your um, your L two L one uh, R two is forward and reverse. 
Let's go ahead and drive around real quick, take a look at their farm. Not much. It's definitely a smaller one than the American one that was there in Farming Simulator 15. As far as the size of the farm. Oh, here's our chickens. Well, it looks like we actually start with some chickens this time. But... Oh, look, we got a greenhouse? Can we enter? Nope. So let's see what we start with. Uh, how do we bring up the garage? Oh, there it is. Uh, tap the touchpad in the center of the controller. And we bring up the shop. And then triangle the garage. So we start the game out with a New Holland Agriculture um, 8340. Two Case IH 1455 XLs. A Case IH 1660 Axle Flow. Uh, 10, the Case IH 1030 14 foot Combine har uh, Harvester for Wheat. Um... Oh, we start with a, the DB8, the bigger uh, tipper trailer. That's good. Still got a 3 meter uh, cultivator and a 3 meter cedar, but that cedar looks. That's definitely a new cedar there. And then we've got our rodeo. Oh yes, another addition to the Farming Simulator 17 is you get to actually placeables. You can place storage shelters for your vehicles. So as you see there, I started with two small, a large, and a vehicle shelter. Storage sale shelters. And you see those right over there on the other side of the tractor there. You can see the storage shelters. Oh, what's down here? Garage. Nice. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. Guided tour. This is one of the fields you own from the very start. It's wheat. Has conveniently grown to stage where you can harvest it. Time for you to enter the combine harvester and get started. So walk up and hit square to enter. Okay, so to attach the tool, we hit X. L1 plus X to unfold. And square to turn on the harvester. Alright, so let's go ahead and harvest. There we are, we're finally grabbing our first crops. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hire a worker to finish off that. I don't know if you can really see it, but they've added, this stuff actually has uh, height maps to it now. So when you walk over these things, you can act, you'll can you actually raise in altitude a little bit. Same thing with vehicles. You run over these mounds and you'll actually bounce. So anyways, let's get to our next, uh, how do we run? Okay, there it is. To run, you push forward on the left thumbstick and then hold R R two, and that's how you run. Okay, so now we're going to cultivate the field. So we enter, hit square, Oops. attach the cultivator, L one plus circle to lower it, to lower the tool. Then we just accelerate. 
Now, I love how these, the graphics, they've done so well with these graphics. How do you zoom in? Okay. The zoom in is the up and down directional. Oops. Up and down directional. And the switch from tractors is left and right directional. So let's zoom in here, but look at the look at the detail they've done on these things. I mean they've gone really, really good with this. They now have the fold up attachment points there, you see? In the front of the new Holland. So yeah, I would recommend probably keeping this new Holland at first. If you're going to be one of those that sells off everything, I would keep this one because it's got the both front and back attachments. So that'd be good for anybody that's been planning to do mowing and sillage for the beginning of the game. Um, this Con Cultivator 300. I love the le the leveling wheel in the back for leveling, keeping the ground nice and level after you plow it or cultivate it. And yeah, it's got a nice coloration. The gra ground graphics is definitely increased. So we'll hire a worker. Now I want to see... Yeah, the, it's different workers who hire. So there's a guy with a gray shirt. There's a girl with a black shirt. And then there's me, the plaid shirt right there. So now we've got to do the seating. Now look at this cedar. It's just beautiful on how they done did this. I mean, Giant Software's attention to detail when it comes to their modeling has always been a great thing. So L1 plus triangle to select seat. So. And then lower and then turn on or off. Okay. So L1, select seat. Okay, there it is. Lower right hand corner, it shows you the seats in the blue. So we th I'm not sure of all the seats. Hold on. Let's go here and look at the actual uh, it doesn't tell us the names, but I mean, look at the look at all the stuff we've got here. We've got. I know it's the wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, uh, soybean, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, manure, silage, wool, uh, wood chips. Then you've got hay and straw and I'm not sure what the last two are I'll have to look in those last two the circles with the grass but yeah our, our price menu is now even better because now not only does it show us you know green arrows and red arrows telling us for the price has gone up price has gone down but you see when the numbers are actually red or green that means it's really good prices being sold there so canola right now being sold at the map field mill and you see how it's got the train right there it means you got to use the train to i guess get there i'm not sure but yeah that's really selling good at canola so and i think it's always good to start with canola So we'll go ahead and start with canola there. Uh, sorry, not used to this controls. The controls seem inverted almost. 
on the camera. Okay. So let's see. Lower the cedar. Turn on the cedar. And we'll go and get this seated out. Hire a worker. And yeah, they've made it a little more subtle as far as what's what's been planted and what hasn't been planted. I mean, this is cultivated ground and this is seeded ground. Ah, uh, see, that's... They've increased the ability here. Okay, so where's our next... Here it is. We need to go empty out the Combine Harvester. So we'll hop in this 1455 Case IH. Connect the trailer. And drive up next to the Harvester. Now, what I was telling you about the... Um, Bump map, watch what happens to the tractor as I climb over this, run the wheels over the hill here. You see how the tractor bumps up? They've actually, that's one nice thing, is they added the height map to the product you've dropped on the ground. Okay, come on. drive around the area. 
So 26 miles per hour is the fastest we can go with this tractor. Okay. Don't forget to follow all traffic signs. So you always stop at a stop sign. You want to check to make sure it's okay to pull out in the traffic. go inside view of the cab push it in R3 Maplefield we just hit the town of Maplefield oh there comes a the car and it looks like we're coming up to the bakery Authorized vehicles only. Open, okay, R1 plus triangle to dump. But we open up the option menu so we can see the prices. And where are we? Um, Dayton Bakery, or Denton Bakery, sorry. So the Denton Bakery price for wheat is four twenty eight. We'd get a better price at the Mapleville Mill. We get a better price almost everywhere else. Well, a couple places. But we'll go ahead just just to sell this off and show you guys the selling of this. Pull your tractor up on the this area right here. Onloading zones, and then you hold L R1 and hit triangle. So let's get to the last bit of this tutorial. And we will go ahead and head out. Call this video once we finish off these tutorials. Looks like we're heading over to the shop to learn about the shop. There's some corn growing in that field right there. Alright, this is where you can sell your vehicles and tools and buy new equipment. Right there at Morgan's Massive Motors. And this is the end of our tour. So yeah, if you park... If you park uh, vehicles in this little area here, and then hit this, you'll be able to sell your items. And you can sell them for a little bit better price. Um, this is the vehicle shop. You can actually walk up here and hit L3 to, or L3 to act, activate it. Or you can just hit the center button anywhere. And you can come in here and purchase stuff. Anything that's on sale will be listed under the sales. 
but it's got a lot of equipment now in this. Um, those of you that know about forestry, you can actually buy your trees from here. But, oh yeah, and this is nice, because this restore to the initial ground state. So basically deleting fields. Levelers for leveling off silage and heaps in the soil. And there's the most one of the most beautiful machines I think out there. Look at that. It's just huge. But harvesters. These are all your harvesters. This is a new category. is forage harvesters. This is your um, chaff collection. See what other... Forage Harvester's Headers. Oh, wait, what's that? What's... What was that one? That's your popular. Poplar. That's the one that sits there and harvests up the poplars. So that would be nice. I might have to actually play around with that. I haven't seen the poplars yet. Uh, slurry tankers have added a couple new models for those that like to do slurry. I can see myself finally using this thing. Because it's finally a slurry tanker that has a decent working with 30 meters. Plus, it's got a 30,000 gallon capacity. Um, which, which one? Mowers, that's it. And our mowers now have the ability to be attached front and back. So you can attach all uh, both these together behind your tra or in front of your tractor. And then behind your tractor have like a wind rower or a tiller. Something to sit there and... Or a tender, sorry, tender. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep farming up some land, get some more stuff uh, harvested, sell off some stuff. Oh yeah, for those that also want to know, one other thing is you have to go to the option menu and go to finances to borrow money now. And it's all the way here at the bottom is where you borrow it. You can still only borrow up to 200000 on the loan. But yeah, till next time, I'm Cat Trans Gamer. Bye!